Hey Taurus, so I'm going to do your reading. We're going to see what your messages are at this time, okay? Just keep in mind, it's general. Don't force a message to fit your situation, okay? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody is taking care of themselves out there. Taurus, we're going to go ahead and start on your reading. Thank you guys for your love and your support on this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Let's go ahead and see what your messages are at this time, okay? overall energy of the collective the overall energy of the collective right. Ooh. <laughs> the strength card okay so we have the strength card here leo energy as the overall energy for you guys okay i'm gonna put this yeah strength card okay Wow, all right, so where do we start? Where do we begin? Okay, so there is some type of new journey that requires strength, okay, but you have it in you is what I'm seeing. So wherever you're headed, wherever you're going, um, know that you have like the strength, the power to endure whatever comes your way, whatever this is. You're definitely a force to be reckoned with, very powerful, okay? Yeah, because you've been, I'm just seeing like you, this card is really reminding me of, um, and I don't even listen to this woman, Katy Perry, but she has a song and she's like, I don't know what the name of the song is, but it looks like the scene from her video. If you know the video that I'm talking about, then, you know, if not, you know, I don't know, but this scene, it reminds me of like where you came from what you've been through okay so you've been through a lot you know you've been through situations where maybe the average person wouldn't be able to come out of but you found a way you know like you really um <laughs> you turned into a beast afterwards okay so you really are a force to be reckoned with all right fearless is what i'm getting very beautiful, very confident, very sure of yourself. Like, it's like you've been through hell and back. So, you're ready for whatever. You're ready for whatever. Very, very powerful energy is coming up. All right, Spirit, so tell me more about this, this message for the collective, Holy Spirit. What else does the collective need to see? Yeah, and I'm just, I'm really picking up on that music video, and I haven't heard that song in I don't know how long, but it was a popular song. Um, I just, I just remember, like, the video, the music video. Katy Perry, she was, like, walking with a lion or some tigers, like, she was in the jungle. She had a plane crash in the video. Yeah. Okay, so... The two of wands is here, and it's here with the hanged one or hangman energy is here. This is like, I'm just, I'm picking up on like superpower energy. You're a very powerful individual, okay? So, and one of your gifts because yeah, I feel like you have many gifts. You're very creative, okay? You could be a Leo. You could be a Pisces. But you're very creative. And it's, you know, um, it's because of the struggle. I mean, naturally, yeah, you're creative. But the struggles that you endured, like when you struggle, <laughs> okay? Like when you go through it and you don't have enough and you need to stretch something. You need to stretch these dollars or you need to, like put together a meal you get very creative in the struggle so that's one of your gifts you're very creative you can find your way out of any situation i don't know who this is i don't know who i'm speaking to but i definitely relate like if there's any type of setback or if there's something that you feel is not going your way you're the type of individual that's going to find the solution. Because there's always a solution. You're definitely a leader. 
you're someone who thinks um, outside of the box. Okay. The tower is here. What? Okay, so. Alright. Okay, so for some of you. Okay, you've been through stuff before. Alright, you've been through situations that were difficult, so you'll get through this one. Whatever this is, tap into that creative energy. Because I'm naturally seeing, like, you're you're somebody who's able to use, it's like you can use what you need. I'm, I'm hearing that song from, or that, 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 um, that line from the Players Club. Use what you got to get what you want. You're going to be able to use whatever is around you, whatever is around you to get the results that you want. So, if there's an issue, best believe that you'll be able to, like, fix it. You'll be able to solve it. And you have the strength and you have the, you know, stamina, the brain power I'm seeing to find that solution. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so tell me more about this reading. <laughs> the Empress. <laughs> so I'm definitely talking to a divine individual. Okay, that's why we relate, all right? You have been through it, okay? So definitely earn your stripes. Spirit wants you to remember to, okay, so in your new cycle, because you're going to be going places, you're making moves, you're traveling, you're moving, um, you're planning, you're starting new things with this two of wands, like you have inspiration, you have goals, all right, you have things that, you know, you're going to be doing moving forward. So just keep in mind, you know, how powerful you are. Strength card, the hang one, the tower, the empress. You've been through a lot of tough situations. But it definitely feels like, um... Yeah, all of that, uh... Yeah, all of that struggle... It made you who you are today, alright? The star is here. Okay. Aquarius energy here. I Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Really any sign. Leo is here. Leo. Wow. Okay. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Fixed energy is coming through. Alright. So... That means something. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but it means something. I know that. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing like the world card in my head. I'm seeing like, um, yeah, the world card. You've been through cycles. You've been through lessons. So remember that moving forward. Remember everything that you've been through and apply it to where you're headed now. Spirit, can I have one more? Spirit, can I have one more for the collective. For those that are watching, come on, come on. Thank you. Okay. So we have the lovers reverse. All right. So we have Gemini energy here. And it fell right underneath this tower energy. So that's the card I want to clarify. At the bottom, I see the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So don't worry. Don't stress. Take your time. Use your intuition. All right. Remember that you're very creative. You've been through, you've been through life. And you made it through each and every time. Very difficult. You know, maybe you had some times where you weren't really sure if you would make it through. But you know you did because you're here. So remember that. Whatever the issue is, whatever the problem is, there is always a solution. There's always a fix. So keep that in mind. The Nine of Wands is here. The Ten of Pentacles is here. The Nine of Pentacles, okay. For some of you, this could be like a fear of money or a fear of success for some of you. All 
right eye. I'm gonna clarify, I'm gonna start with this tower. We're gonna see more about this tower, Holy Spirit. Can you tell me about the tower? Fear of money, a fear of success. For some of you, the struggle definitely has been real. You know, um, like going back to that stretching the dollar. You know, like you had to get really creative with your money. You had to get creative with how you spent your money. You know, maybe certain bills didn't get paid. You know, maybe you had to call and get extensions. Like maybe you had to like, you know, go without on certain, you know, days, weeks. There is a shift here. I'm definitely seeing that. Spirit, tell me about the tower. Can you tell me more about the tower? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, tell me about the tower. Okay. So, I see the seven. Alright. So, seven of pentacles, the devil card, and we have the hangman here again. Okay. Okay, somebody thinks that all of their hard work, all of the things that they have invested into, all of the effort that they put into something um, isn't going to work or they failed at it. Spirit wants you to take a closer look or take a second look, okay, because there's something about like seeing, seeing whatever your issue is from a different angle. There is another view here, okay? So you might be looking at something. Um, in a limited view, okay? There's another angle here. Spirit, tell me more about that. Yeah, I see the page of swords here at the bottom. Spirit, tell me more about the tower. Thank you. Okay. So the three of swords is here. All right. For some of you, this tower that is coming in, um, it's, it is clearing your path. I am seeing that. All right. This is a removal is happening. Okay. And you may feel like something is happening. Um, yeah, and this feels out of your control. Like you can't, um, stop this for some of you. You can't stop this. But Spirit is still saying, look at your situation. There is a different view here. There's a reason why this is taking place. And you may not understand it right now, which I get. Because that does get, you know, annoying hearing, you know, everything is happening for a reason. And, you know, especially when you're going through it. Like, nobody wants to hear that all the time. So I get it. But it is the truth. <laughs> like, there is a reason why something is being removed there's a reason why you know whatever you've been working on is there's a reroute here you're being redirected all right because with this lover's card here reverse this is a uh, an indication that you're not connected to source like source needs you to be you know like you're not listening to your instincts or trusting your intuition so spirit is removing what is distracting you there's something here that is causing you to be off balance and you're too powerful to be in this energy okay so if this isn't you this could be somebody around you so keep that in mind you know this is a general reading but there is something in somebody's path that is very destructive okay so spirit is cleaning house there is a reason for it. Spirit needs you to take some time to, like, reflect on the situation. I'll give you an example because Spirit is telling me to share this. So I had a car. I had a little, um, like, a little mom car. It was, you know, it was like I had the car for a good minute. I was really attached to it. But it started breaking down and I was like, I can't keep like putting all this money into this car and it's already old, you know, it's already like, it's been through, it was a used car. And so like, I had to really just recognize that like, I can't do this anymore and I had to like, let it go. And I was a little bit sad because for a minute I was without a car and I was like, damn, if I would've just 
maybe put some more money into the car, I would have still had my car. Sorry about that interruption, Collective. The camera just shut off right in the middle of my little story, but um, yeah, so my car, I had to, I had to like end up junking the car because it was it was really worthless and i was in my feelings because i was without a car for a minute and i'm like man if i would have just put more money into the car i would still have a car now so i'm kind of feeling bad about my situation weeks go by i'm, I'm still without my car um one day randomly out of nowhere i get blessed with a check and that and it's an amount where it was enough for me to buy my car um, straight out. You know, I didn't have to do payments. I didn't have to do any of that. Spirit really, like, took my situation and he gave me something better. This is the energy that I'm feeling. It may not make sense right now why this tower is happening. Or you may not understand why these changes are taking place. But something really isn't for you. That's why Spirit is removing it from your life this is you deserve something better okay but it really like you're gonna have to to make this process more understandable spirit wants you to look at your situation from a different perspective okay something is causing you not to really see you know it's it's a distraction it's really hurting me okay yes you may have had some you know put some money into this thing or Put a lot of time, energy, and effort into this thing, but this is a toxic situation. Devil card here. This is not no good for you, okay? This is something that will cause you to waste time, lose money, okay? Lose yourself. Look at this. Lose yourself. Stop trusting your intuition. Spirit doesn't want you to do that. Okay, so that's why this situation is being, like, cleared from your, um, from your life, alright? So, there is a reason. And it's not, I feel like it's not easy to go through it, but Spirit wants to remind you that you've been through, you've been through tough situations before. Okay, and you made it through those situations, all right? Tell me more about the, um, the lovers, your very Holy Spirit. Yeah. The Nine of Wands is here. I feel like somebody really doesn't know what to do. Somebody is very nervous. Somebody is very scared of what's to come or what's happening at this time. It feels like I'm picking up on someone's energy who's been hit multiple times. It's like, I'm hearing the saying, if it isn't one thing, it's another. Somebody is going through it right now. Especially with this double card here and the lovers. My best advice would be to isolate yourself as much as possible and get connected to spirit. You know, meditate, pray, write in your journal sit outside even if you have to sit outside on the balcony like sit in nature because spirit is trying to get your attention yeah the queen of wands is here i feel like this is someone you know and if this isn't you collective this could be somebody close to you they could be a fire sign um gemini capricorn a scorpio pisces Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, any sign. But I feel like somebody is so used to being in control of something, okay? Somebody is so used to I feel like you've put in so much effort into this, so much time, so much energy, you don't want to throw this away, but this is like out of your hands. And you have no control over this, and this is, it's scary, you know? It's, it's, um, you're stressed, you're worried. What's happening? Spirit's trying to get your attention. Spirit, can you tell me about the hanged one? Yeah, okay. So the six of swords is here reverse. All right, upright, this is you moving on, you healing, you know, 
like taking initiative to get yourself out of that situation but this is reversed so there is this past thing that's coming up that needs to be healed that needs needs to be corrected okay spirit is trying to get your attention okay spirit tell me about the six of swords for this thank you strength you can do it okay that's what i'm hearing you can do it you're strong enough the emperor, okay? You could be a father, okay? Or a father figure. You could be an Aries. I have Leo energy here twice. You're somebody who has some type of power, some type of authority. You made a mistake is what I'm seeing. You made a mistake. But there, this is a situation where you've been through stuff before, you know? Like I'm seeing that energy here with the strength card. You've been through hell and back. You've made it through any setback in your past so you'll be able to make it through this one but i'm seeing um there is this worry energy like you, you can't do it you feel like something is out of your control something is out of your hands you may have you, you may feel like you made a huge mistake that there is no fix to this but there is a solution to every problem. There is, it's just a need for you to see the situation from a different viewpoint. And I see with this emperor here, um, you have a position of authority. So you have a position of authority. So you were placed in this position because you have knowledge you have the wisdom, okay? So you can figure this out. Spirit wants you to tap into your creative um, energy to figure out what the solution is. Because there is a solution here. You're just not seeing it. There is a need to fix something, to heal something with this, this star card here. Tell me about the star. This is a past thing, okay? Something in the past, okay? There is... Um, I'm, I'm hearing and seeing mishap, mishandled mishap. You made a mistake is what I'm seeing. Spirit, tell me more about the star. If it's not you, you know, this is someone close to you. You could be an Aquarius. Okay. Share. Okay, vulnerable. Okay, for... For some of you, if you feel like there is no fix, there's a need for you to be more open because the emperor, you know, very strict energy coming through. All right, you could be a father figure or a parent. Uh, maybe you made a mistake with the child and you just feel like it's, uh, it's um, you can't fix this. There is no fix to this. There is no solution. For some of you, there's a need to be more open, to be more vulnerable, share your experience, share what you're struggling to overcome. There's a past situation, okay, this could be from your childhood, but there is something here where um, Spirit needs you to share, shed some light on the situation so that you can be free. Can you tell me more about this star? Can you tell me more about this star? Thank you. Yeah. The three of wands is here. Three of wands. All right. So, baby steps is what I'm seeing. I see the two of wands, three of wands. Yeah, knight of pentacles. Take your time, okay? Once you get this, um new new perspective about this problem then you can share it i feel like spirit spirit is preparing you to share this or spirit wants you to share this there's something here that you need to share with someone close to you okay you may be trying to find the words or you're looking for the strength to share this spirit tell me more about the nine okay this could be um someone that you're married to they could be looking for the strength to share something with you or the courage to share something. You could be parents here. Tell me more about the three of wands. Yeah, somebody is terrified is what I'm seeing. Terrified. 
And I feel like with this Eight of Swords and this Ten of Wands, for some of you, this situation, this stress is, is um, unnecessary for some of you because the Ten represents a completion, okay? So the struggle, um, there is an ending here, okay? There's no, no, there's no need to hold on to this anymore, okay? But there is fear here like if you can't let this go you can't let you can't share this spirit tell me more about this um this eight of swords i feel like i'm pulling back layers okay somebody has been covering up covering covering hiding you know out of fear afraid to be open afraid to be vulnerable here with the star card afraid to really show um the real them But I'm also picking up on another energy where there, there's no need to struggle anymore with this this nine and eight, oh, I'm sorry with this eight, ten and the eight of swords here. There is no there is no need to struggle. Some of this uh, fear is is self imposed, like you're putting this on yourself. There is something that you want to get off your chest or someone around you wants to get off their chest. I see the Nine of Cups here. Once you release this, you're going to feel so much better. All right? And it, it, I'm seeing like it may not be an easy situation to talk about or, you know, speak on. So Spirit wants you to take your time. The Two of Wands, Three of Wands. Take your time. Everything is happening in divine timing. Okay? There is a process. Knight of Pentacles. Take the time to find your words. Maybe you can write it in a letter okay, or an email. You know, if you feel like you can't speak it, write it. Yeah. I feel like you. this is the past coming up, okay? So we have the Six of Swords here. It's reversed. So sometimes, like, when I see reversals, I'll go back a card. So this is not the Six of Swords. This is the Five of Swords to me. Okay, so I see the five of swords here. So this is a past situation. This is this is the mistake that I'm seeing. Okay, this is a moment in time where you really weren't at your best. I don't know what happened here. I don't know what it is, but five of swords. This talks about um, being very selfish. Um, just really thinking about your own needs or what you want versus like the other people around you. You may have made moves based on your own feelings, not really not really realizing how much it may have affected other people around you. There is some type of backfiring here, okay? I'm not sure what it is, um, but this is coming to the light. This is coming up, all right? So I feel like Spirit is trying to prepare you to share this, or for some of you, you have to share this because it's all out now. Okay, it's all out in the open now, so you're going to have to share this. Like, there is no um, covering it anymore. This is like, for some of you, you may be feeling like you're, you're facing backlash for a decision that you made in your past. Okay? There is a reroute here for you. Okay, whatever this tower moment is for you, whatever this huge shift, this huge change that's happening in your life, it may be difficult to process, it may be scary, it may be stressful, but spirit really is trying to get your attention. Okay, the lovers is, is here reverse. I don't like seeing this card reverse because this is just saying that you're not connected to, to spirit. You're not listening to your intuition. And when you get in this energy, like, you start to take on other energies. Spirit is trying to remove this, this toxic thing that you've been attached to um, once and for all, okay? And the process is very ugly, you know? Like, it's an ugly process, but this is needed, okay? This is needed. Spirit, can you tell me about the Two of Wands? Two of Wands, Holy Spirit. Okay, the six of wands, all right? I'm seeing like, um, you're getting a lot of support. Once you take that leap, once you take 
that that step forward, you're getting a lot of support. Some of you have been planning to reach out or speak on this, or this could be somebody doing this towards you. I'm seeing support here. I'm seeing praise, okay, because you're sharing this information. Okay, this is a very vulnerable moment for you or somebody around you with this um, star and the six of pentacles. You're sharing this and you're getting support. You're getting praised, okay? So you tell me more about this two of wands and the six of wands. Two of wands and the six of wands. Holy Spirit. Two of wands. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So we have this sun card here and it's reverse, all right? This is bittersweet. Okay. Yes, it's good that, you know, you spoke on this. You're freeing yourself. It may not be the best thing that you're speaking about, but at least you're getting this off of your chest. Yeah. So can you tell me about the sun reverse? The will of fortune. All right. So we have the will of fortune here. Yeah. This is good. This is... This is needed, all right? I feel like some of you may be experiencing, um, it's a minor setback for some, okay? But there is some success, there is some happiness, whether the sun is reversed or not. You know, like, you got this off your chest, you said, you know, you said your peace, you're free. You step back into your power, you know? It feels like spirit is, um, really preparing you or someone else to like release there's a big release here okay because something that someone was involved in was just really holding them back stunting their growth the empress is here okay you're a divine person all right and yeah you may have gotten lost along the way like you know like we all do but it's never too late is what i'm saying it's never too late to change. It's never too late to to live right. You know, even if, you know, you have hurt people in the past. Even if you weren't at your best in the past. Like, it's never too late to work on yourself. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in that. It's never too late. No matter how old you are, it's never too late. You can work on yourself at any point in time in life. It's never too late. So don't ever think that, you know, you made a mistake that is not fixable or that you can't repair. Because that's not the truth. This, the, you're going to start to see the more and more that you get on this healing journey. You're going to start to see, you know, how strong you truly are. Why you had to experience whatever you had to experience. Yeah. Elevation is here. Growth. Healing. Love is here. So you're telling me more about the Empress. Yeah. The Five of Cups, and then we have the Hermit here. We have Virgo energy coming through. Okay. You have some stories to share. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm seeing, like, you have some... You have, and this is, I, I feel like I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing because I relate. That's why I'm laughing. I have some stories to share too, you know. Um, you're going to be able to look back on this situation and really, like, speak from a higher perspective, okay? You're going to be able to speak from a higher perspective. Your past is really, um, like, it, it's, it's molding you into who you were always meant to be, you know. So don't look at yourself as a failure. Take some time to reflect on what you've experienced, what you've been through, okay? And understand, like, you're not going through this for no reason. There is no, there, there is a reason why you're experiencing this, this setback or this, you know, destructive, you know, situation. Whatever that is, there is a reason for it, okay? The more and more you get closer to spirit, you spend time alone and meditation or just time with yourself you're just going to start to see how spirit speaks to you you know like messages will come in you'll have dreams you'll have epiphanies 
that you'll just start to see life in a new way. The more and more you focus on your healing, the more and more you're going to be able to just see from a higher perspective. Okay? I'm going to pull from one more deck, and then I'm going to wrap this reading up. This is Angel Answers. Looks like this. Recovery is here right as I part the deck. Okay? Recovery is all over this reading. Recovery. Healing. Alright? Yeah. Alright, Holy Spirit. Thank you for that message. What else do you need the collective to see at this time? Thank you. Okay, so within the next few weeks, all right, so within the next few weeks, that could be significant for you or somebody close to you. This could be a message coming out within the next few weeks or you relaying, relaying a message, speaking your truth, whatever this is, next few weeks. Thank you. Okay, so there is going to be an opportunity here for you to um, experience a message or relay a message within the next two weeks. Or, yeah, next two weeks, next few weeks. Spirit, can you, can you take the number, please? Yeah. Next few weeks, okay? Um, the two of wands, all right? So, yeah, two of wands. You may be preparing or planning to um, share, okay? Let someone know or someone could be planning to share something about themselves to you. It's a very sensitive topic is what I'm seeing here. So if you're on the end of receiving this, try to be as, I know everybody's situation is different and I understand that. I really do. But I'm, I'm just getting this energy where this person, this is very sens sensitive. This is a very touchy topic. Okay. This person may have even hurt you in the process of, you know, hiding, lying, betraying, but they're trying to come clean, okay? So in the next few weeks, maybe you need to prepare yourself for, you know, some type of truth to come out, all right? It's a very sensitive topic is what I'm getting, okay? There's an opportunity for somebody to share something very, um, like, something that they've been holding in, holding very close to them, okay? Like, I felt like in this reading, I was pulling back layers, Can I have one more Holy Spirit? Spirit, can I have one more? Okay, so I got two more. Romance and no. Okay. For some of you, this could be someone that you were dating, okay, or in a marriage with, or maybe you have children with this person. Okay, and when romance came out with the no card, I'm seeing like this person may be, okay, so you may be thinking that this person is sharing this with you to get back with you or get close to you. I don't see that. Okay, you may be thinking it's an opportunity that this person wants to get close to you. It's deeper than that. All right. It may be some of it, but I feel like there's a bigger picture here. It's a lot deeper. Okay. Okay, so collective, that was the message. I really hope it was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you are looking for a personal reading, you can go ahead and check out the description box below to see how to book a reading with me. You guys take care. Bye.